Bibles to Psalm 122. Because I'm very mindful of what is going on in the world today. Psalm 122. Let me just get it. just want to read some verses as we go into worship today from Psalm 122 which says I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord our feet shall stand within thy gates O Jerusalem Jerusalem is builded as a city that compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls, and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, Peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem they shall prosper that love thee. I wonder if we could stand at this time as we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of the one standing next to you, in front of you, behind you. I Din in thee, I in thee. Thou bless, thou bless, rock of it. Oh, safe to the rock.
everybody knows how to pray. However you know how to pray. Reach out and touch God. Touch Him. The blessed rock of ages. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Almighty God, our God, our Savior, our King, we thank you. We are grateful that you are God. Thank you that you are here with us at this time. Father, you have been so good to us. You have been a shelter to us. You have been a comfort to us. You have been peace. And Father, even as we come before you right now, we put everything to one side because we know that you are worthy. We know, Heavenly Father, that you are the one to be glorified. You are the one to be praised. There is none like you. It was you that woke us up this morning. It was you that put breath into our lungs. It was you, Father, that gave us the strength to be here. So we give you the glory. We give you the praise. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that even as we stand or we sit before you today, wherever we may be, Father, we know that all praise, all honor, all glory goes to you. Father, we pray right now, even for the peace of Jerusalem, Father, we pray as your word says that we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Father, for those who are at war right now, that Heavenly Father, somehow we know that you will intervene because your word needs to be fulfilled. And so, Father, we stand upon your word knowing that all is well. Father, we pray right now for those who are not saved, those who have not given their lives to you. Father, that even in this service, something will be said, something will be done that will help them change their mind and follow you, Father. For we know that the time is short. Father, we just don't know how short it is. So, Father, we pray for salvation. Salvation for those who do not know you, Father. Speak into the hearts of men and women today, Father. Let them know that there is only peace in knowing you, Father. That the only shelter that they can have is in you. Father, even for the, the furtherance of this service, that God, you will lead us, you will guide us. Let your will be done. Let your name be lifted up in this place today let your people praise you let your people praise you father for you alone are worthy of all the praise and father we will forever give you the praise we will forever thank you knowing that you are our blessed rock of ages and that we are hiding in you for those online we thank you for them watching right now that you will continue to bless continue to keep father we thank you for the ministry that is able to reach all over the world and let somebody come to know you through this ministry and once again god we will forever praise you thank you for everything that's to be said and done your name be glorified always in the name of the lord jesus i pray and our glad hearts say Say amen again. Say amen again. If you are hiding in him, I want you to raise your voices and sing that refrain, hiding in thee. Hiding in thee.
times to go God's way this morning. Hallelujah to Jesus. God is good. Yes? God is good? All the time. All the time. God is good. We just sang, I'm under the rock. The rock is higher than I. Yes. You know something? I'm just standing in just to encourage the mothers of this church Amen. today. Amen. Wow. Oh, God. There's a presence of the Spirit of God in this building right now. A spirit of worship. Hallelujah. Have you got the worship on your lips this morning? Because we are so blessed this morning to know we don't have to worry about any bombings come in. Israel and all the countries or whatever are going through war and we're here praising and worshiping God this morning. Isn't that wonderful that we can wake up and we can actually say goodbye world, I stay no longer with, with you. Goodbye pleasure of sin, I stay no longer with you because we've already made up our minds to go God's way for the rest of our lives because I always say tomorrow is not promised. So we just worship God right now and think about him right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because God, he knows all our struggles, you know. He knows all about what we think and what we know. So at one, one um, Sunday morning, I was getting ready. And I was just looking out through the window, just ready to dress for church. And a massive cloud came over me. A massive cloud came over me. And those of you who've got Alexa in your house, Alexa tells you everything if you want to know the time, um, about the weather. You can ask her anything, what's one and one? You can ask her and she'll tell you. So I said to Alexa, Alexa, I need a, I need a song right now. Put a gospel song on right now. And that song was God is standing by. God is standing by. So hush, there is no need to cry. Hallelujah. And I know that with the Spirit of God speaking that morning, there is no need to cry, Clove. I am standing right by you. And I tell you, as soon as I heard that, the cloud went. Because you know when the cloud goes, the sunshine comes in. And I tell you, when I was at church this, that day, I was just praising my God. Because his God is always standing by. And he knows all our struggles. He knows our struggles. Hallelujah. Thank you. He knows our struggles. He would guide us. Jesus.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Isn't God good again? All the time, God is good. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. As it's Seniors Day today, I'm going to call Sister Leacock, who's going to lead us in a song. Amen. Praise God.
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Lee Cobb, for a wonderful song. And that's really a good point, taking everything to God in prayer. We have a set of seniors that um, really support our prayer meetings on Tuesday. I don't, I think we started this prayer me meeting online, I think it's three years now? Three years now, and the scene is, oh my God, they're like the engine of that car, the engine for prayer every, every Tuesday. I'm gonna give God thanks for their prayer because that, that is what's keeping us. These are prayer warriors on a Tuesday, the elderly, isn't that wonderful? We have people to, those elderly to back the church for prayer. Thank you so much for that song. Thank you. We could, now we're going to have um, Sister Brown. Could you just come and encourage the church, please? I just want to say thank God for me. <laughs> I want to thank God for my life. Because it was a life that had no worth. But no, there's something in it. Amen. There's something I can shout about. Yes. But you know, there are times when things, things come and upset you. But still, you're not to let them knock you back. Is stand, the Bible says, stand, though all else will fail. And if you don't, if, you, if you, you're tired, still stand. And today I just want to encourage the church. Because I, I was actually born in a church. <laughs> yes. I remember my mom used to take me to church years ago, and I was a baby. You know, you don't know when you, you, when, when you come from a baby, you grow up. And the first thing she bought me, I don't know, I was thinking about yesterday. She bought me a pair of earrings. And I rem remember, I can't see it now, because there are things that stay in your memory. But my mother was a woman that, you can't say you're not got going to church. You, you don't ask if you, if she, she don't ask you if you want to go to church. You have to go. And I grew up like that. And when I grew up, when before, I, when, before I got married, I said to myself, when I get, when I, I'm so glad I get it out of that woman's house, calling my mother a woman. <laughs> <laughs> because everything she preaches, church, church. Even when I was married, she, was, she had to pass my house go to church. <laughs> and sometimes she, she said, she, she, she used to call me girly. She girl, you're not going to church today. No, and that time I could choose because sometimes I don't want to go to church. But church is my lifeline. That's right. It's my life, my, my whole life. And it's such a wonderful thing. Because there are things happening in your life that you look back on, mm. especially now. Things that hurt your heart. Things that come out good and lovely. I, I was talking to my niece last week. She said to me, Mom, she called me Mom because I raised her. I watch you on, on the, 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 the thing. And I, and I was so glad she can see me. <laughs> I was so glad she can see me on Sundays when she's she not going to church. But you know, living for God is the best life. 
is the best. My, I used to tell my friend, you're my bestest friend. But living for God is the bestest life. Right. Yes. Living for God is the best life. There are times when, there are times when you get, you seem tired. And if you don't have anybody to encourage you, you sit down. But I remember once I was, I wasn't going to church because there was a, a dispute. And I, I have a young man that, I have a young man that adopt me. And he used to call me, say, Mom, you still going to that church? I say, yes. Because I had a little friend, a dear little friend, Sister Rank. And I could leave her there on her own. <laughs> so I stayed with her. And when I asked Doreen for her, Doreen said she'd gone to another church. Oh, but I didn't say a thing. I don't tell her soul a thing. I just move out. I didn't cause no problem. I just moved. And for a few weeks, you no, know, I felt like I felt like God wasn't hearing me. And I and I just get up and come to church. Come here to church. And the pastor didn't turn me away. He took me in. He said, there's always a chair for you. And I hold him to that. And he's, he's, he's very nice. Look after me. <laughs> God is good. All the time. And when you trust God, things work out. Right. When you trust in God, you put in trust in God. There are times when you think he's not hearing. But when the time comes and, he, and you do, he do what, do what you say, you sing, say, you sit down on the side and smile because God has come true. And now my legs, my legs not working right, but I can dance. I can dance and, and I thank God for that because if it, he knew my, my legs not well. He knew about my legs, but maybe I deserve it. And there are times in my life there were problems. And you can't live for 90 years and know I'm no problem. Mm -hmm. I lived 90 years having my children. I used to tell them I was an old lady when I had them. But now I, I took my, my old coat off. I, <laughs> now I shake that old coat off of my life again. Himself, himself, my legs not working. Even though my legs is not working, I'm alive. Thank God I'm alive. And you know, all of them gone. Go on and leave me. But I'm happy. And my daughter, she look after me. And my granddaughter, they look after me. And she, she moan at me sometimes. But I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I have to keep it quiet if she's there. And um, I get up and I go on, because I love to listen to the word. And Pastor Swaggart and them come on early in the morning. So I go down at 4 o'clock and I sit there. And I, when I stay in my bed first thing, and pray for all my, my brethren. I pray for all my brethren first. And then when I go down, I sit down and listen to the word. Because I do love the word. I wish I knew more of it. But I'm still learning. Amen, yes. And I, and I just want to give God thanks. I want to give him thanks this morning. Because he's helped me, he helped me through. A very, very worst um, bad thing. I was, I, I fell off my tear, my stairs, a few years ago, and um, I thank God I can walk, and I can move, Amen. I can, 
can dance. Yes. I had a little dog. My my granddaughter, she bought, bought a little dog. So after she left home, she left the little dog with me, so I look after it. I got the little dog, she died now. And we used to dance in the morning. She lie on, she lie on the carpet and watch me going all around dancing. <laughs> It is good to trust in the Lord. It's good to trust in God. Because when you think he's not working, he's always working. He's always working. And I thank my pastor. Isn't he lovely? Look. I thank my pastor for taking me in when the others threw me out. They didn't throw me out, really. I just walk out. After. Because they give all the others notice. You don't give notice to church people. It's a church. You don't give notice to church people. But they didn't give me notice. But after the others get notice, I didn't stay. Because I can't stay, would I? Anyway, I come here and, I, you know, I'm so happy. I'm truly happy here. And i like to give you all thanks for taking me in. And not taking me in, but be my friend and love me, because where there, there's Christians, there's love. Yes. And, you know, yes. and, you know when people, and you know when people love you. Yes. You don't have to ask questions. You just love them and they love you back. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I love... Oh, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Before we, we I'm going to ask um, Sister, sorry, Mother, she's staring at me, she's trying to hide. Mother Turner, if she just come and encourage the church, and after I'm going to ask Mother Simmons quickly, just to come and encourage the church. They have so much to give. They have so much to give. So much that, you know, we can learn from these wonderful women of God. They've come from far, 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 far. They have so much to say, you know, to tell us. But um, just continue to pray for them. Hello, everyone. First of all, I must say to you all, I'm not a long speaker. <laughs> so I'm begging you to deal with me, bear with me, but the few words that I have to say, it won't be long. But first of all, I'm giving God thanks for all who is in this house today. It's through the power of his love and his grace towards us why we are here today. And I thank God I'm able to be among my brethren, my friends, in this place today. There were times when I wasn't in the house of God, thinking of some place to go where I shouldn't be, but here I am today. Amen. God has taken me from that dark hole and he placed my feet on a rock to stay. He put words in my mouth to sing songs of praises to my savior. That's why I can be here today. I give God thanks for you all. Thank God for this privilege that you have given unto me. Yes. And to all of us that are able here today, where would we be without him? Mm. Without him, we would be like the chaff which the wind drive it away. But God be merciful unto us. And here we are today, we can be rejoicing with each other. Thank you, Jesus. You know how happy I am to be here today? I tell you, if I can tell you this, when it come weekends, 
Saturday morning and Sunday morning, I feel that pain most of all, more than ever. And I said, when I get up Sunday morning time, I have to stop there a while before I can put my foot down. But I said, Satan, is you preventing me and you're not going to stop me from going to church. That's right. That's right. I said, you're not going to stop me from going to church. For I know we, every weekend I feel the pain more than all. Mm -hmm. But I know is the devil trying to keep me down. He keep me down a long while. And you're not going to keep me down anymore. That's right. And I just thank God for his grace and his mercy towards me. Where would one like me be today? Where would any one of us be today? You know how grateful I am to be here with you all. When I look at my pastor, his family, and see the work that they are doing, it encouraged me more and more mm. to hold on. Thank you, Jesus. It's not an easy job for these ministers to carry through and have families to look after. But you know something? God is with them. Amen. And that's why they can carry on this work. And I give God thanks for you, Pastor, and your family. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. And all of us who are in this place today. I'm happy for you all. <laughs> I can't, you, you would know, I wouldn't believe me. Then I come in this place. I could feel that joy the first day I walk in this place. Mm. And I remember listening to some of the testimonies that go on in this house when I just come in this house. And I know God is working in this place. Mm -hmm. And he's still working. When I look and see the amount of faces in this place now, it makes me feel so happy. Mm. Frederick, friends, let us hold on. hold on. We have one place to look for now. Yeah. When we look around and see what's going on around in the world today, what are we looking for? Who are we waiting for? You know, each one of us know who we are waiting for. I know who I'm waiting for. And I don't know how long it will be. But I pray and hope that someday we all may reach at that place where there will be joy and happiness, yes. peace, Love that we can share with each other. I'm happy to be here, Bridgery. The next thing I have to say today, I'm here. I, last Sunday, I was happy to see the men. I tell you, when I see the men last Sunday having their service, it makes my heart feel so glad. Yes, amen. And most of all, why I feel so glad, I have a son that was among them. Yes, that make me feel so happy. Yeah. And I enjoyed last Sunday service so much. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> when I see those men go up there and could give their different thoughts and their testimony, I know where God took them from. Mm -hmm. And that makes me feel so happy. And you know what? His prayers go up for them. That's right. They were in that dark place, but God has taken them out of that dark place. Mm -hmm. And he brought them to a light right. where they could see that light. Mm. And that made me feel so good last Sunday to see my, the brethren go up there and having their own testimony. You know something? Is any one of you ever sad when you come in this place? I never feel sad to walk through that door. Whenever time I walk through that door, 
I could feel the Spirit of God in this place. And I give God thanks. Brethren, let us hold on. on. There's nowhere else for us to go. Nowhere place to look for, but one place where we can get the peace and rest, where we'll be laughing and, and doing all things with each other when no one will be able to stop us. Mm. What a happy time that will be. Amen. I tell you, brethren, there's a hope. There's a hope for all of us. That's right. And it's for us to hold on and wait for that hope to come to us that one day we see each other gathering together as we are today. Let us not look back. Many of us here know where God took us from. I know where he took me from. I was in that dark valley. Hallelujah. 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 I was in that dark valley. And I know when he starts speaking to me and tell me it's time for you to get out that dark valley. Mm -hmm. And he took me out. And I can see the light. Brethren, as I tell you, that dark place is no good for us. As I don't know if some one of you remember talking about it in the prayer meeting. If we are locked into a dark room for days and there will be no light, how would we feel? And all of a sudden, you see someone come and open that door and you could see that light. What are you going to do? You're going to run to that person and either hug them or thank them for opening the door that you could see that light. Someone opened the door for us. And here we are today. We can see that light. And it's for us to give him the praise and the glory that due to him. Who is that person? Our Heavenly Father. He's the one brought us out of that dark room. Mm. And he opened the door that we could see the light. I know I have seen the light. For I know where I was. And I know where I am today. And you all know where we are. Or else you wouldn't be in this home this place today, many of us wouldn't be here if that door didn't open and we could see the light where we can walk and come through. I've seen the light. Amen. And I thank God you all have seen that light. That's right. Let us hold on to that light. Let us follow that light. No more in the darkness. Mm. We are no more in that darkness. We are in that light. Where are we today? Brethren, my encouragement is for you to hold on and look forward to that light that is before us. Don't look back. You come out of that dark room. Don't go back in that dark room. Head forward to the light. Let us hold on, brethren. And this is my encouragement to you all. I'm happy for you all. I'm happy to be this in this house. From the first day I walked through that door, I feel God's presence in this house. And every Sunday I come in, I could feel his presence more and more. And that helped me, if I'm even crawling while somebody can take me, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm not going to stop coming, for I feel God's present here. So, brethren, hold on. Keep courage. Pray for each other. Although we may not see each other, but we, our prayers will be answered. 
and we know who will answer that prayer. So let us keep courage and look to our Heavenly Father who is up there watching over us. He's the one who takes us out the dark room. Mother Davis, I can't express my feeling to you. Last Sunday, I, we both stopped at the earth. And I could feel something in Mother Davis. Hallelujah! 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 And all I could do is to put my hands around her. I could feel something different there when we both stopped at this altar here last Sunday. But my dear, the good Lord is with you. And he promised he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave us. So keep courage, all my brethren, my friends. Keep courage and look to the one who take us out of that darkness and give us light today. May God, God bless you all. God bless you. What the Lord has done for me It makes me want to go all the way This is a frightening opportunity for me. <laughs> but at this time, I'm giving order to the Spirit of God. Greeting to my bishop, Nathan Simmons, and greeting to all of the saints. I'm so glad to be in God's church one more time. God's house is the best place for anybody to come. You come in sad, and you leave yourself glad. God makes us glad. I thank God for this opportunity, sometimes, something that I never expected, but God has been good, very, very good to me. I tell you something, um, everybody, mainly everybody must know, I was brought up in a Christian home. My dad was a pastor, therefore, I was baptized when I was 15 years old. So that's a long, long, long time. I wouldn't tell you how old I am now. That's a secret. But God has kept me from that time through many dangers, toils, and snares. I have already come. But God has brought me forth safely. And you know what? God promised never to leave me, never to forsake me. I have proven God all these years, thanking him and serving him. And do you know one of my um, 
thing that I really, really love and is in me, that I love church. I love God and I love church. In fact, I remember one sister telling me, I am addicted to church. Brethren, the best place you can be in this world is in church. Am I wrong? The thing about it, what you get in church, you don't get nowhere else. Neither at home, at work, or anywhere. Church is the best place to be. Serve God and keep his commandments. We had an old brother, he died now, he used to say, you can't fool God. Can we? Tell me, can you fool God? We need to be honest, to be truthful, because God knows us. And serving God, you have everything to gain in this world. Again, your children would copy your actions in serving God. The Bible says, train the child in the way it should go, that when it becomes old, it will not depart from it. If it depart from it, it's not your fault, because you take your time in training the child. I know what I'm speaking about, for I come from a very, very long way in training by Parents teach me and in training, train the child. And serving God is one of the best things that you can ever do in this world. Because believe it or not, your children is looking on, your neighbors are looking on, your brethren are looking on. They say, I, I thought Sister Simmons was a Christian. You know, if you ever slip up, you need to be truthful to God. And one of the things, when we pray to God, leave it to him. God knows everything about us. And in his time, he will make all things beautiful. It won't be happy every day. But God, but when I think about it, God don't have it good every day, you know, because we give him a lot of trouble. <laughs> Aren't we? So God have to be looking after me, looking after you, looking after brothers so and so, sisters, so, looking after the world. God has plenty work to do. So don't give him much more than what he have. But when you speak to God, don't expect um, right away that the answer would come. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say, wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. So therefore, waiting on the Lord is a benefit to us and to others. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not taking away the preacher job. But, <laughs> but God help us that we put everything in his hand. Don't think that everything is going to work good. But pray to God, wait on him in his time. He makes all things wonderful. I don't think I'll take up no more time. Next time I'll tell you something else. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? You know, um, it's so wonderful that we can um, give our seniors the privilege and the freedom just to stand and just to say something. And they have so much in them. They have the word, they have experience. They have everything. They're the treasured saints. Amen. Just keep, continue to pray for them in Jesus' name. Let's just give a praise of worship for them. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're just going to stand and I'm going to bless the offering in the name of Jesus. And then while we sing a song, I'm going to turn it back to our pastor in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we want to thank you for such a wonderful day today, oh God. For even giving your word, for giving our worship to you, oh Father. As we give today, Lord, we thank you that we can give from our hearts today, oh Lord to go towards your wonderful kingdom. Keep blessing us, Lord. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah.
somebody grateful this morning that he came from heaven to earth one thing about serving the Lord we should never be forced to serve the Lord it is he who has made us and not we ourselves we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So we're going to enter into his gates. If it's just me, I'm going to enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts. At least I got one or two Bible readers out there. The word of the Lord comes from Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. I'm reading from 1 through 6. And then 22 through 24. Hebrews 11. 1 through 6. Then 22 through 24. Now faith is the substance of things.
things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. And was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him by faith Joseph when he died made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones by faith Moses when he was born was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment by faith Moses when he was come to years refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter I'm reading 25 and 26 choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in, in Egypt for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward the word of the Lord is always blessed and we pray that he grants us the understanding it is indeed my pleasure it is my honor to introduce to some and to present to others our speaker for this afternoon none other than Mother Gloria Lewis I want you to pray for her as she comes as she comes to us with a word from the Lord I care not today what Tomorrow may bring in sorrow and sunshine or rain. The Lord, I know, ruling or everything and all.
trust in. Trust in comfort. Thank you, God. Thank you. Did in His great love. From all harm safe. Mother Gloria speaks. Just play that real softly. I want you to think about what we just said. I care not today what tomorrow may bring. Because I'm living by faith. I am trusting in his love from all harm I am safe in his shelter if we don't shout about that there's nothing we're gonna shout about because I'm living by faith and I feel no alarm Sing it one more time, Mother Gloria Lewis at this time. Living by faith. Don't care what is happening in and around us. We will not fear because Jesus is our banner. I greet you all this morning. My bishop, I greet you and family in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I greet you all in Jesus' name. I know no other name this morning to greet you in, but to greet you in the holy name of Jesus. Praise God this morning. He paid a debt for me in Calvary just to set me free. And I'm going to stay free this morning by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This morning the scripture was taken from Hebrews chapter 11. But before I continue in the scripture, I'll just give the Lord some praise this morning. Praise God. I'll just tell you this morning that the closer I get, the more I see the glory of the soon coming King. The more we love him, praise God, more love he will this sure and this morning praise God through it all I have learned to trust in Jesus praise God no matter what I'm going through I have learned to depend upon his word and this morning let us depend upon the word of God this morning we are called to worship 
the Lord Jesus. Because of what he has done for you and me and the cross called Mount Calvary. I'm glad this morning that he gave his life for us. That we could be free this morning in the house of God. Giving him praise and glory this morning. Just because of what he has done for us. I'm happy and I'm glad this morning to be in the presence of the Lord. Just to worship him and just to tell him, thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done for me. I may not be a great speaker, but what I can do, I will do in the name of Jesus. Um, my citizen, this morning, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. We are here this morning to give God thanks and to give him praise for being in his house because we, are, we could be otherwise minded. But because of what God has done for us and where he has taken us from, we choose to put ourselves in his hand and to stay in the house of God, to worship him and to give him the praise because he deserved it and deserved all of our praise this morning. All of our thanks belong to him this morning. All of our hallelujah belongs to him this morning. All of our worship belongs to him this morning because it's only him who cares for us. No one else did ever care for us like Jesus. And no one else could ever understand us as he do. And this morning we worship him and we give him thanks and we give him praise. Praise God. He's my friend this morning. When I need a comfort, when I need a shelter, I go to the rock of my salvation. There I will abide. When he speaks to us, he calms our troubled mind. Praise God. If we listen, we'll never be the same. But sometimes we don't listen. And so the blessings that he had for us, we lose it because we don't listen. We must listen to the voice of Jesus and hear when he speaks, because when he speaks, it calms the troubled soul. Praise God, and our life will never be the same. He said that he will never forsake us, and he will always be with us. And so this morning, we put our trust in him. We deliver ourselves into his hands. Praise God. We won't settle for anything less. Praise God. And this morning, praise God, the lesson is taken from... Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. From Hebrews chapter. Oh, Hebrews chapter. Eleven. Praise God this morning. 
Paul encourages us with hopeful words. We live by faith and not by sight. But we must understand, brethren, faith without work is dead. And a dead faith is worse than no faith at all. Because if we don't have faith, we can't speak to our mountain. Praise God. We must, faith must work. Faith must have its course. Faith must work, it must produce. If it does not produce, then is no faith at all. And this morning, verbal faith is not enough. Mental faith is not enough. It is insufficient, praise God. Faith must be there. It must be more. It must inspire the action, praise God. True faith must manifest itself in work of faith. Faith endures trials. Trials come and go, but a strong faith will face the head on. You know, if we have faith, we can tell our mountains to move, and it will hear just a little faith, even as a mustard seed this morning. If we have it, we can speak to our mountains. Praise God. Faith develops endurance. Faith understands temptation. Praise God. It will not allow us to hear and not do. Faith is wise. It produce, provides us with the ability to resist the devil and humble, draw near to God. Praise God. Hebrews 6, without faith, it is impossible. Praise God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we cannot seek the Lord unless we are grounded and rooted in faith in Jesus Christ. We were saved, justified by faith. Faith is the answer to everything through grace. We were saved through faith. It's not of ourselves. It is the gift of God. So we should not boast because we did not give ourselves this grace that we have, God has given it, given, given it unto us through his power and through his love towards us. And this morning, without faith, we are nothing. We cannot make it without faith. We must believe. Praise God. We must trust in God. We must defend the God of our salvation. No matter what the case may be, we must stand. Praise the name of Jesus this morning. Praise God. Believe that he is and, and that, that he is, is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We have to go to him by faith. And then we know Daniel, God, will deliver. Praise God. He has delivered Daniel out of the lion's den 
He has delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego out of the fire furnace. Praise God. And this morning, don't care what the case may be, we can be delivered, but we will have to have the grace and the faith to, to take us through. God wants something to work off. And when we give him the grace and the faith to work on, he will work for us and he will do us good. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Joseph told his brother, I am about to die, instructed them how to hold firm in their faith. And so this morning we have to hold fast in our faith. Don't look back for when we think it all over what God has done for us. He didn't have to do it, but because of the love that he had for us. Praise God, he did it all. We love Calvary this morning because had it not been for Calvary, we would not be here this morning proclaiming the name of Jesus, telling somebody about the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for us. Where he has brought us from, I don't know where he has brought you from, but I know where he has brought me from. Praise God, he has brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. And I'm gonna stay in the light and I'm gonna shine for him, praise God. Because he is the light and we are his children. And if we walk in the light as he's in the light, no darkness will be able to do us any harm because we are guided by the right hand of God. Praise the name of Jesus this morning. Praise God. Remember Abraham? Righteousness was by faith. Praise God to Abraham. And because of that, Abraham didn't stagger not at the promise of God through unbelief. Sometimes we, un, we, we don't believe, and because of that, we stagger. But praise God, Abraham did not, because he believed that every word that Jesus said, it would surely come to pass. Praise God. And so this morning, we must trust God. We must believe in him. Whatever we are going through, we must know that with God, nothing shall call impossible unto him. Because God is God, and he always will be God. All we have to do is to believe and put our faith and our confidence in him. And when we have done that, then we can say we are on our way. Praise God, we will not settle for less. Praise God this morning. By faith, Moses, when he was come to heirs, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, praise God, because he knows that he was not the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He knew he was a Hebrew, praise God, and he was determined to stay in his Hebrew bondship. He did not want to take on any other nation unto him because he's a Hebrew. I'm a Jamaican. And I'm not going to take on America or England. If I even tell you because I want to get my stay, I'm a bread-born Jamaican. I'm a son of the soil. Praise God. And so it is 
Praise God with Moses. Moses refused to be called Pharaoh's son because he was not. Praise God. Some of us, I'm telling you, when we see the glory and so we would disown our born place where we come from, in other words. But he was determined. Perish or perish not, I'm going to be with the children of God. I'm, I'm determined to suffer affliction, but I'm going to stay with the children of God. I'm going to make them my friend because they are my friend. You are my brothers and sisters. How can I forsake you? No. The word is no. So he refused from being called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer, praise God, with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Sin is not a good thing. And when we get out of sin, we must not try to go back in sin. Don't care the life that is out there, how pleasant it looks. God has cleansed us from sin and make us whole. Praise God. And we won't settle for anything less than for what has pertaining to the word of God. The pleasure of Egypt could not hold him because he don't care if when he gets there, he's going to lie here. He knows God is with him and he prefer to serve God than to serve his stepfather, his stepfather. He's not even his stepfather. Praise God. And this morning, Sometimes we have to suffer. We have to suffer sometimes. Trust to do the right thing for God. But when we suffer for God, and if we live in the sufferation, then you know it will be worth it after all. Praise God. Sometimes we suffer. But they have good courage for what the Lord has done for us. We are not in darkness, brothers and sisters. That that they should overcome and take us as a thief in the night. Praise God. We are all children of light. If we are called children of light and children of Jesus Christ, then we are the children of day and not of the night nor of the darkness. Let us not sleep as others this morning, but let us watch and be sober. Praise God. For if we watch and we be sober, then our mind will stay on Jesus Christ, who is the rock of our salvation. I don't know about you this morning, but I know that he's my rock and he's my shelter. And when I need a friend, I go to the rock of my salvation because I know that he will stand by me. For all of the ground is sinking sand. But, and Christ, the solid rock, we will stand. Let us stand, brethren. Let us stand, for if we stand, we know that our reward will be great. Sometimes when we feel discouraged, we intend to run away. We intend to throw in the towel. But I'm saying to myself and to everyone in here this morning, hold on. 
Hold on a little bit longer. Christ Jesus is on his way. Praise God. We don't want when he comes to take his children home that we are left behind. It, what an awful picture that would be standing outside the portal. When you see your friend inside the portal looking out and you did not do enough and you stand out here, brother, it's an awful picture. None of us would ever like that. But if we don't work, we will stand out there. And sometimes, you know, faith, sometimes let us wander, for we falter and we fail. Praise God. But even though we falter and even though we fail, there is an unseen God up there who knows all about our troubles. And if we look to him in faith, then we know that he will be willing to receive us. Praise God. God is faithful. Every day of our life, God is faithful. Praise God. And we should trust him. We should believe in him and deliver ourselves into his hand. You know, this morning he woke us up. He didn't have to do it. When you feel faith is fading, brethren, read the scripture. You'll find encouragement there. His word is life. Praise God. Fast and pray. Draw near to God. I'm begging in the name of Jesus and myself to let us never wander away from him. Praise God this morning because it's not good enough for us to wander away from him. You see, brethren, many of the heroes of our faith experience God's faithfulness. They die in faith, trusting in Jesus. Moses is remembered in Hebrews 11 as a hero of faith. Praise God. So let us live in faith, trusting in God with all our hearts. Be strong. Let us not wander away. Let not our hands be weak, for our work shall be rewarded. Praise God. Let us stay in faith. Let us remember the young converts in our prayers. Let us work while it is day, for the night cometh when no one can work. Praise the name of the Lord. God is amazing. Our God is amazing. In the goodness of God, let us stay connected. Praise God. The battle is hot, but don't let go. Let us ask God to hold us in the palm of his hand. While the storm is raging, the battle gets hot, but don't let go. When Jesus comes, brothers and sisters, the tempter's power, praise God, shall be broken. Praise God. Don't settle for less. Better days are coming. Praise God. Jesus is our anchor and perfecter of our faith. Let us anchor our soul in him, for he is the heaven of rest. With Jesus, we are safe forevermore. With Jesus, 
we can make it with Jesus. We can stand. Praise God. This morning we can stand because we have got Jesus. And that's enough, oh Lord. That's enough. We bless his name this morning. We give him the glory and the honor this morning. We worship him. We praise him. We adore him this morning. Because he's the king of kings. And he's the Lord of lords. And this morning, what a great place to find ourselves. In the house of the most high God. The Lord bless you all this morning. As I turn over to my bishop. The Lord bless you, Bishop. Congregation, Bishop. Bishop, congregation in Jesus. Come on, let's give God thanks for Mother Lewis. The words of encouragement that she has given us today. As Mother was speaking, I was thinking the people we ought to listen to are those that have been through it before. We have heard from some of our treasured saints today. And I know that they would have testified though tempests may blow and the storm clouds arise, obscuring the brightness of life, that they were never alarmed at the overcast skies because the master looked on at the strife. I know that he safely will carry me through no matter what evils be tied. Why should I then care though the tempest may blow if Jesus walks close by my side? Altar workers, our Lord will return for his love one someday. Our troubles will then all be home. The master so gently will lead us away beyond that blessed heavenly shore. Living by faith. Totally in someone 
or something. Faith. Who are we trusting in? What are we trusting in? So this afternoon, I am going to invite to this altar as we are ministering with those already here. You do not know the Lord. You do not know the Lord as your personal Savior. I don't need to tell you who you are. You will know who you are. I want to invite you to this altar. You don't want to come by yourself. You want to come with somebody. Come on. You don't know Christ. You may have walked away from Christ. You may have left him. But I'm here to tell somebody he hasn't left you. The time is short because you know that God is talking to you. Come on, you know God's talking to you so you can get up. You can come. Come on, come on. Give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ. Come on. God bless you as you're coming. God bless you. You want somebody to come with you? Just nudge them. Say, will you walk with me? Will you walk with me? Come on. Living. You need to give your life to Christ. Commit totally to Him. Come on. Don't be shy now. Don't be afraid. In His great love, all from all harm. Yes, I am in his sheltering. In his sheltering God. Oh, I'm living. We're going to pray for you even while you're in your seat. That God will continue to speak into your heart. That God is going to change you. Come on. I know we're closing, but we don't want to close. Until you commit in the name of the Lord Jesus. Don't leave it too late. God bless you as you're coming. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you as you're coming. You know God is speaking. You know God is speaking. Live.
you to think about this we have heard wonderful testimonies and an exhortation today God is speaking to us the time is short The coming of the Lord is at hand. It's not a cliche. God is on his way. Our final destinations will be sealed. And every single message, every single altar call, every single song testimony that we rejected will be a witness. To us that's why I say it every week come to Jesus come to Jesus it's not all right to be on the outside but come to him even after we finish praying today and God speaks to your heart you just say pastor I didn't want to come up to the front but I know God is speaking to me and I need to be saved Mm. we will make arrangements to pray with you right there and then that God will come into your heart that you will yield your life to him don't play with this thing don't play with this thing the voices of the church of saints will be in your ear throughout eternity the voices of your parents, those who spoke life into you, but it was rejected. Let us stand. It is our choice to accept or to reject. God bless you today. Minister Bev, just close us in prayer, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. We bless your name this morning, Lord Jesus. We give you thanks and we give you praise, Lord God. You are the light of the world, Lord God. This world will look in darkness, Lord Jesus, but you light it up, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you that you've lit up the lives of all of us in here today, Lord Jesus. You've given us a recharge, a refuel, Lord God. Oh, Father, I thank you that we're able to go out in the power of your love, Lord God. The anointing came to break yokes, Lord Jesus, and yokes were broken. I thank you, God, that deliverance took place, Lord. I thank you for healing, Lord God. I thank you for joy in place of sorrow, O Saviour. Thank you for your word today, Lord God, which is giving us life. I thank you, Father, that we can go out in that power, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, to each of our assignments this week, Lord God, we can look back and know that you are helping us, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, my Savior, I pray, God, that you'll continue to work out your will for our individual lives, Lord God, and that as a body we continue to grow, oh, God. Oh, Father, I thank you that the door is always open, Lord God, and people feel the, the, the need to come in, Lord Jesus. People need you, Lord Savior. We need you, Lord Jesus. We cannot make it by ourselves. This world is difficult, Lord God. It has its trials 
and its troubles, but in you, Lord God, we can have faith and confidence, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Father, as we go out today, Lord God, we go out in the power of your might, Lord Jesus. Keep us in your care, O oh God, I pray. Father, from the oldest down to the little babies, Lord Jesus, cover us and protect us, O oh God. Set a hedge round about us, Lord God. Lord Jesus, cover your people. Protect us, we pray, Father. We ask you one more thing, Lord Jesus, is that you, you, you lift up, we lift up your name, Lord God, and you said you will draw all men unto you, Lord God, and we will continue to lift that name up, Lord God, the name of Jesus, the name of our healer, our friend, our saviour, we continue to lift you up, Lord God, and as we go, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything that has happened today, Lord Jesus. And we give you thanks in anticipation, Lord God, until we meet again, Lord Father. Continue, O oh God, your love towards us, we ask. In Jesus' precious name, amen. As we close, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, Something in my heart Like a stream Running down It makes me feel so happy As happy as can be When I think of Jesus And what he has done for me Something in my heart Like a stream Running down Come on everybody of my heart be acceptable in thy sight O oh Lord my strength and my redeemer the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace come on everybody something is